Hello everybody, welcome to number 27 from me and from the Bismarck. So today what I'm going to do well, over the next few days is just prepare it for painting and that includes sorting out this art which is fairly bad around here. I haven't completely gone all the way down to see how bad it is but I am going to do that now which is why I'm wearing this. I learnt last time the hard way that even outside you can get completely covered in dust doing anything like this. Um, but I've started taking bits off, bits of trim, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to do this, also have a look at the other arch as well on the other side, which I think can just be repaired. And then once the car is sort of ready for, for that, I'm going to take it inside and do the actual welding and everything in the garage. I checked and there's just about enough room. Oh, and this is a repair panel that I got from Frau Bentz and it is original. So she actually found one of her, <laughs> one of her donor cars, which had a perfect rear arch. Would you believe it? Uh, so I'm, I'm probably not going to do the whole rear arch, there isn't any point, most of it is pretty good. I'll see what there is that needs cutting and changing and then I'll sort of take it from there. Or we'll see how bad it is and then, then decide. Not too bad at all really, so on this arch it's all really good, even I thought there might have been something there, but it's all really good. This is the only bit which it looks like they have tried to repair with a bit of welding, but that it was so bad that they then had to fill on top of it. But anyway, this section really needs to be cut out and replaced, but I don't think I'm going to do the whole thing just because it's absolutely fine. On the other side, really bizarre. There doesn't really seem to be any rust. It seems more like it's, it's had a bump or something. It's all creased. Um, there is a tiny little spot there, um, but um, I'll see about repairing that as well. But it's quite odd on that side. It's, uh, but generally speaking, probably slightly better than I thought, and everything else looks pretty sound, really. Right, time to finally use the quick jack for the first time on a car. I'm pretty impressed with that. That was really quite easy. I mean, the setup takes a couple of minutes, but it's a lot easier than faffing around with stands and everything. And it's really pretty stable. Um, I'm pretty happy with it really. So as you can see I've cut away a fair bit more. Now the thing is that this is a, it's not just a single skin unfortunately the wheel arch, there's a, a couple of inner skins as well, as well as a bracket to strengthen it all. So in order to get to it and try and get some straightish lines which are going to be easier to then cut out on the donor panel, I've had to go through. I can show you so this is the donor, which I've now started to cut into. And as you can see, it has both an inner skin here, which is a sort of strengthening panel, this inner, but then there's also the actual mud guard itself. So there's another skin. So there's three in total. And I've already, I've cut through the, um, the wheel arch skin, I guess you would call it that, the, the mud, the mud flap. <laughs> I don't, don't, I don't know. Anyway, I've cut through that and also this. So now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to unpick this, which is all welded together, and then start adding one piece at a time and then the outer skin last. So it's actually going to take longer than you would think uh, because there's quite a few bits of separate welding to do. Uh, but it feels like I'm making progress, so I'm, I'm pretty happy really that we're, we're sort of getting there. And the rest of it is really, it's just not bad, this car, all in all. Well, last night I did some more unpicking and I finally took the whole thing apart. So you can see there's three different bits. So that part, which is the uh, sort of inner wheel arch brace, which is this, which goes like that. Then there is the outer here, you can see, we'll go like this. So I've just got to cut it more, but you, you sort of get the general gist of that. And then there is the inner wheel arch piece, which I have I sort of just pushed in place there. But there is this as well. 
So what I'm gonna have to do, I think, is um, this part, luckily, which is this, is actually completely okay. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna need this piece. I'm just keeping it aside just in case. But I'm gonna have to cut this out and put it in place here. Weld, spot weld back on to the inner brace. Then once that's all okay, then this outer panel will go in place. So it's just an easy question now of precisely cutting it all to fit. What I'm thinking of doing is putting these panels in place as I have now, then spraying from the back with some zinc primer to get the perfect outline. You can do this with cardboard and so on, but I, I have a feeling it will work better if I try and do it like that, but let, let's see. Okay, so I've just pushed that into place. I've quickly marked it with a felt tip, but also from the other side, you can see through the boot. So you can just see there, I'm gonna spray some primer through there and try and mark it up in that way as well. Okay. So that's definitely enough for a start anyway. It's not exactly a perfect line, but I'm gonna, gonna cut a bit larger and just take it from there. I'm almost ready for the first bit of welding, but I just had to take a quick break just to say how incredibly grateful and lucky I am to have this place. It's making life so much easier to have a bit of room. And I mean, I have the Ferrari here on the side, so it's a bit of a pain, but to have a bit of room to work, not to have to worry about the rain, not to have to put tools away every two minutes because you're doing it in a drive and every time you go in, you have to put everything away. It's just amazing. Right, so I can't quite say I'm proud of it, but <laughs> it's done the job and it's taken me so long. That top bit in particular I kept on going through so I had to use another small patch on it but it is in. On this side ordinarily it would have spot welds from the other side but I forgot to clean this underneath before I put this in so I've just done a few spots here which will which will do. This one I have to redo because it's gone through but getting there really and almost ready for the outer the outer panel it's taking me so much longer than I thought. Well, this is day three now, filming the, uh, the Bismarck work. And look there, you can see my garage just outside there. My lovely, amazing garage. Let's go out to it and get, get started. And there it is. So I'm just tacking it in on both sides because I wanna cut it in situ there to get the perfect cut. And this needs to be in a perfect position for that to happen. So I'm just doing that and I'm really struggling with this Elmer because I just can't see through it properly even though I've adjusted it. So I usually put it in place and then just close my eyes. I just find that easier. Probably isn't the best way or the right way, but. Right, as you can see, I've made some progress. I'm sorry I haven't filmed it all, but it's just, so difficult sometimes to get these that to get that in place where I could start to spot weld it. I had to use all my hands by the time I got it, I didn't want to switch the camera on. So this is where I am, but it's looking pretty good by my standards anyway. So it's pretty much done. And I think that is, well, I'm happy with it anyway. With the primer on, I could see another couple of bits that I wasn't happy with. So I've just spot welded a few bits, ground that down already. Definitely happier with it now. And for my first wing, I think that's, that's, that's good. So now that exhaust. Oh. 
Oh, you've got to see this. So, I don't know, look at that. Held in with some tie wraps. <laughs> Just about. It's actually most... So the thing is, I reckon the rest of the exhaust are probably blowing somewhere, but for the moment, I'll do the silencer. I mean, check it out, what they've done. Uh, those bolts, fully expecting to have to cut them off, but actually they don't look too bad, so hopefully... I'll be able to and there is the new exhaust well there it is how they managed to weld this straight onto this really corroded bit of metal I don't know um, but you can see this is completely homemade they made this put on the original bracket um, really hideous. So, this one's in, but I need to get some mounts because obviously there's the tie wrap holding it in, but already, so much nicer to see that than that big bin thing, and I wonder what it's gonna sound like. So, a nice ending to this one. The, the arch is, is done, and it, it's pretty good. I'm almost surprised myself. Gotta finish weatherproofing it, get some seam sealer, stuff like that but I feel like I'm on a roll. So bring it on and very soon, I don't know if it's the next one, might be the next one or the one after, is when the Bismarck gets painted, which will be amazing. See you all very soon. If you um, don't follow me on Instagram, please do. And obviously, even more importantly, if you're not subscribed on YouTube, please do subscribe.